Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Lee and today I'm shooting a video on my ice cold water cooled PC system. Um, sort of a overclocking enthusiast. Been doing this for several years and this is what my PC looks like right now. Um, currently what I did was I've got an old Thermaltech water pump system. Um, you can see here's the pump and there's the water reservoir and you got one tube going up here and this is a full size case and it goes out I've got the tube going over here connected to a rubber latex that goes into a King Super Styrofoam ice chest and this part right here fits perfectly um, all I did was break the handle off and create an, a hole opening inside my ice chest I've got uh, two 10 feet um, copper coils that I shrunk um, using like wrapping it around like something cylinder. Um, I use a can of brake fluid to wrap the coils around and make these uh, coil cylinders. But what you see there's um, 20 feet worth of copper coil and I've just got it all connected together. Um, you can see down there uh, with the more of the rubber latex tubing. Um, so over here I've got um, a bowl full of ice and some water. Um, this is my PC system with uh, three monitors. Um, one thing that I didn't show you is I'm running SLI mode with a couple of GTX 460s. You can see them, uh, let's see, they're right here and right there. So um, I'm running an E8400 processor right now. Um, and default clock is 3 gigahertz. Um, today, I believe I'm going to try to break the 4 gigahertz and keep it stable. So right now I've already got the uh, water pump going. I've got it connected to an external power source. Um, the benefit of doing that is so that I can turn on the water unit without turning on my PC. So here I just turned off that switch it's just back on again so and that water cooling unit is running I've got a little indicator here showing water flow right there okay and this is again all the water unit is running um, water cooling unit is running without the PC being turned on so it's a uh, it's pretty safe doing it this way because if um, that way I, I can ensure that there's no water leaks occurring before the, the system is is powered on so right now we'll go ahead and um, add in the ice into the ice chest Let me grab some of this over here and uh, go ahead and start dumping some of the ice in Looks like we're probably going to need one more, so we'll run over here real quick. We'll fill this bad boy up. Alright, let's 
So right now, pretty much all 20 feet of the copper coil submerged in ice cold water. Sure. Oh, that's pretty cold. Make sure none of the tubes are uh, kinked. You got good flow. All right. Okay, so now it's time to uh, put on the lid here. And uh, turn this guy on. Okay, right now we're at uh, 3.3 .3 gigahertz. And I'm just going to head over here, bring up uh, real temp. Okay, real temp is showing right now at 26 degrees Celsius. I'm running at 3.3 .3 gigahertz. So I wasn't able to quite get it to 4 gigahertz, but we did manage to get to 3914, um, which is about is 900 megahertz more than the de default clock speed of 3. That represents about a 30% increase uh, in the CPU. So, um, right now we're at 23 degrees Celsius, um, and we'll see if we put a full load on it. Looks like uh, at full load, the temperature is about 37 average, so uh, about a 13, 14 degrees Celsius increase at 100% CPU. Uh, looks like we're holding up pretty well so far. Front side bus of 435, multiplier 9. I think we're good. Well, that's it for my video. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.